Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lambda Test. In this tutorial, we are going to learn few concepts in Selenium. First, we will start with what is Selenium and then followed by what is the use of driver like Chrome driver, Microsoft Edge driver or the Jiko driver. And then followed by we will learn the types of locator that is used to interact with different types of element. And then followed by we will see uh, a use case scenario where we are going to interact with different types of input fields and also we are going to learn how to interact with buttons. Let's start with what is Selenium. Selenium can automate browser. That's it. Very simple. Selenium is there for more than a decade and it is one of the most leading framework in test automation. And of course, Selenium supports most of the language binding like Java, JavaScript, uh, Ruby, Perl, whatever the language you say, the popular language, definitely Selenium has the supports. Today, we are going to learn the Selenium with Java and already we discussed how to do the installation, how to create the Maven project in our previous video. So this video is continuation to that. We'll start with the basic coding, like how to launch the browser, and we are going to write code for that. So let's bring our ID, that is Eclipse. In our previous video, we learned like how to add the Selenium dependency as well as in uh, the test engine dependency. If you noticed here, in the test engine dependency, we have something called scope. Let's understand what is a scope. So here, when I say scope test, that means by default, I can write only my test cases or test scripts within the SRC test. But sometimes we might write in the SRC Java as well, the main Java or maybe the test as well, right? So if I have scope with test, that means I'm restricting my test ng to work within the test folder alone. But I don't want to do that. Probably sometimes I might write in SRC main Java or maybe in the SRC test Java. So to have the access in all my folders, I'm going to remove this scope. Just remove the scope and then save the file. And that's it. You are pretty much done. Now let's write some code. So within the SRC test Java, I'm going to create a package first. Let's say that it's going to be my uh, demo, something like Lambda demo. And within that, I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to name it simple as like launch browser. And of course, we are going to use the test ng. So I'm going to skip the main method here. So let's create a function first. And I'm going to annotate this function with the help of test ng, that is at the rate test. That means my test is now ready to execute. Just to make sure everything works fine, I'm just going to give a sys out here and I'm going to say like hello world. Let's try to execute this. So it's a single file, so I don't have to convert into XML file, but it is recommended. We will see that in a moment. Now, just for the sake of checking whether it's working fine or not, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on run as test ng test. Let's see the output. And sometimes it might ask you to allow the access for the first time just give the access that's fine and if i go to my console here you can say like we have executed the first test uh, successfully and here you can say like this is my sysout statement and passed is basically my the test name that is the function name so we can confirm that our test ng is working and all the other dependencies should also work fine we'll test that in a moment now coming back to our topic so we learned what is selenium very simple definition but trust me that is enough now we are going to learn what is driver. So Selenium directly cannot interact with the browser. Selenium needs a support to interact with the browser. For example, let's take uh, Chrome. We know that Chrome is from Google team, right? So Google team already have a driver file, which is known as Chrome driver that is used to communicate between the our Selenium code, that is the Java code and the browser. Let's see how to download the Chrome driver first. So I'm going to Google like Chrome driver download and let's click on the first link. And here you can see like we have a lot of versions, right? The version that we are going to download and the browser that is installed in our local machine should be exactly same. So let's go and check that first. In my case, it's 98. So based on your browser, you have to download the exact matching driver file. So we'll click on this one. And here we can see like we have for uh, Mac, Win32 and Linux. I'm going to click on the Win32. And let's extract this in our desktop. We cannot directly extract to the uh, Eclipse. So I'm going to extract this to my desktop first. And from the desktop, I'm going to place it in my Eclipse. So within the Eclipse, I'm going to create a folder first. Just to maintain because in future, we might going to run in Chrome, uh, Firefox or Edge, right? So we have to download all the other drivers. But thanks to Lambda test, we don't have to download all the drivers. We can run our test in the in the cloud environment. We'll see that in a moment. So first of all, I'm going to copy my Chrome driver from my desktop and I'm going to paste it in my 
Eclipse within the driver folder. That's it. We are pretty much done. Now I'm going to remove this is out statement, and here I'm going to say system dot set property, and within the property I have to give key and the value. So here the web driver that is the protocol, and I'm going to say like I'm going to use the Chrome, and this is my driver, and then followed by I have to give the path. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to use the dot slash. That means it will uh, go to our current project, and from there I'm going to say that it is in my drivers folder, and then followed by the file name. And lastly, of course, the semicolon. We know that it's a Java, right? That's it. We are pretty much done with our first step. What is this? Basically, we should tell our Selenium code that, hey, I have a browser driver and I want you to use this. So that's why we are using like system.set property with this protocol and then followed by the location of the driver. Now, here I'm going to say like web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. So what is WebDriver? In Selenium, WebDriver is an interface where uh, Chrome driver is the class which implements the WebDriver. If you want to see the source code, you can just right click and you can give like open declaration. So here you can select we have the Chrome driver which is constructor. If you go up here, you can see like it's a class which extends the remote WebDriver. We are going to use the remote WebDriver in a while because we have to run our code in the cloud environment. And if you see, it implements the uh, location context and web storage and then followed by the network connection and then if you go within the remote web driver you can see that it's basically implements the web driver so it's a basically the hierarchy of selenium remote web driver is the supermost class in selenium and web driver is the uh, implemented interface we'll see that maybe in some another video about the entire hierarchy so first thing first we are going to launch the website so for that I'm going to use a lambda test, uh, this one, this uh, like lambda test.com. Okay. So I'm going to copy the URL and here I'm going to say like driver dot get and here I'm going to pass the URL. And just to make sure I'm in the correct website, I'm going to print the title. So here I'm going to say like driver dot get title that will return me as a string. So I can store that like uh, here string title and then I'm going to sys out. And lastly, we want to close our browser. So I will say like driver dot quit. It will be really fast. Just be watchful. So I'm going to execute this one more time. So right click, run as test ng test. And unfortunately, we got a failure, which is good sign of learning. Let's see the console. So here you can see like illegal state exception. Illegal state exception means the path we have set might be wrong or the key that is I have that I have set might be wrong. Let's see. So here it's a like dot slash drivers and then followed by Chrome driver. And here you can see I have done a spelling mistake. So based on the exception, you should learn. Don't get panic when we see the exception. It's a good sign to start learning. I'm going to minimize this and let's go and fix it. So here I have missed the E as a spell. Let's go and run this one more time. Hopefully it should run this time. And perfect we got the browser red sign that means of course our browser is getting launched here and you can see the same in the ui that's it pretty much done with our first learning that is how to launch the website or launch the web uh, browser and load the url and then followed by how to print the title so here you can see like how we are getting in the console like most powerful cross browser testing tool online that is lambda test Right. Now let's start with the locators. Okay. So what is locators in the sense like if you go to any of the HTML page, uh, let's say that we are going to do the login. So let's go to the login page. And here you can see like we have this input field and this is also input field. And this is a checkbox. Technically, that is also a input field. And here we have something like anchor tag. Uh, that is a link text. And here we have a log login button. It seems like button, right? Let's go and inspect. Yeah, it's a button. Okay, so any this tag name and this is my locator uh, name and this is the locator value. Okay, so how to identify locators in the sense? Before that, let us understand why we have to identify locator. So what we have done previously, we just launched the browser. This two line is basically used to launch the browser. Actually, this is the line which is used to launch the browser. This line is basically we are trying to say that hey, here is my driver file and you have to use it. Okay, and this one to load the website correct 
now we have loaded the website and if you go back to this page you can see like there are a lot of elements elements is nothing but for example this one element this one element this one element so what of the fields interactive or non-interactive fields we see on the page is known as elements okay so here let's say that i want to uh, type something in this to type a test data in any of the field we have to use the function called send keys but where we have to send the keys where we have to type in the sense on an element so we have to find the element now there are eight ways to find a uh, element for example we have like id uh, and you can see the syntax anyways i will show you in the code so don't worry about the syntax as of now and then followed by name class name link text partial link text tag name css and the xpath xpath is the least preferred but trust me in real time most of the time we end up with using xpath only and this is the hierarchy like it's a order like id is most preferred xpath is the least preferred and then we have like name class name link text partial link text tag name css uh, let's see one by one okay now let's see how to run our test in the cloud environment in the lambda test platform it's going to be very easy so lambda test already have a very good configurator we are going to make use of that let me show you I will leave the link in the description you can check it from there so first of all here we have to say like which operating system we are going to execute so i'm going to select the latest windows 11 and then i'm going to select like uh, the chrome uh, with the version 97 98 is beta so we'll leave that for now we'll go with the 97.0 and then if you want to set the screen resolution probably you can do that i'm going to leave it as it is by the default and here you can see like we got the desired capabilities in our case uh, of course we are using java but if you are interested to execute with the help of like uh, shesar php ruby or any other language definitely you can switch around and you can use it so this is the desired capability we are going to make use of it i'm going to click on the copy and i'm going to paste in my code but before that i'm going to do some modification since we are using the web driver which means we are going to run in our local machine but now we are going to use in the cloud machine that is lambda test so I'm going to comment few uh, these lines and I'm going to do some changes. Let us see how to do that. So first of all, I will create a function called uh, setup. And here I'm going to paste all my desired capabilities. And of course, I have to import this desired capabilities from the Selenium uh, remote package. And I'm going to annotate this with the before test and then followed by uh we have to do some few changes as well so first of all web driver means we are going to execute in the local but we know that we are going to execute in the cloud platform so we are going to make use of this remote web driver and we'll name it like driver and that's it the first step is done then followed by what we are going to do is we are going to say like uh here right so here we have to say like driver equal to new remote web driver and then followed by we have to pass the url so here i will say like new url don't get confused this url basically we are telling the hub address okay whereas this uh, url is our actual test url okay so here i have to say like url and then followed by i have to pass my capabilities here okay so what is this capabilities in the sense it's basically decide capabilities we are saying to our code that hey i want to run on this platform that is windows 11 and this is the browser name i want with the version this one okay and here you can select like we have two additional information like the build and the name so build uh let's say that it's go we are going to give it like our first run and name is basically uh we'll say like interact with input something like that okay uh, just a test case name you can give your test case name and id and build you can give something like that okay and here we have to import the url from java.net if you see here we are getting two suggestions make sure we are going to do the import correctly okay it should be from java.net and of course it will give us some compile time error we have to handle the mal formed url exception so i'm going to use the try catch now that's it very simple now what is the hub url in the sense if you go back to the lambda test configurator here you can see like we have the access key we'll get the username we'll get the password that is access key and then followed by the hub url this hub url is basically like username then followed by password and then followed by the hub address i'm going to simply copy it and i'm going to paste it here 
of course we can segregate this we can destructure like based on uh, this is my username this is my access key and then followed by this is my hub url i can store it in multiple variables and i can use it but for the first video i think this is fine we can just copy and paste maybe in next video we'll try to segregate that as well okay so so far we have configured our remote web driver and also we said like what are the desired capabilities we want okay now what we are going to do is we are going to simply say like driver.get and we'll take a test case scenario now okay so if i go back to my uh, lambda test the demo platform it's kind of playground where we can learn a lot of things around the selenium so here we have two use cases i'm going to uh, pick up the second one that is we have two input box uh, for example let's say that i'm, I'm going to type here 10 and then followed by 15 and when i click on this get values here we can see the result so let's see how many ways we can do the interaction or how many methods we are going to learn from this use case scenario so first of all we have to identify both the input box so we are going to use the locator strategy then we are going to do the click action on this button so we are going to find the locator and again we are going to uh, perform the action like click and once we get the result we are going to get the result and we will do the printout of course uh, we have to do the assert but that is not in the scope uh, maybe in some another video we can see the asset uh, as this is our second video i want to take it little slow okay so in this particular exercise itself we have lot of learnings let's see one by one so first of all we'll take this url and here we will paste it i will repeat once again this url is basically your test environment url and this url is the hub url okay if you are familiar with selenium grid concept this will really easy for you even if you don't know don't worry about it you have to just pass like new url and you have to pass the hub url that is provided by the lambda test and that's it it's going to be very very simple i will execute and show you before that we will try to complete our uh, test so here we are printing the title and this line also i'm going to move it outside of my test block okay so here i'm going to say like public void uh, maybe like something like tear down and then i'm going to say like driver dot quit and i'm going to annotate this with the after test uh, annotation okay that's it that means before this test we'll do the configuration like how to run in the uh, cloud with the help of desired capabilities and the remote web driver and then followed by once my test is completed i'm going to use this after test where it will just close the browser and make sure whenever we are going to use the selenium grid concept or any other uh, cloud platform in our case lambda test we should always use the driver.quick so that it will know that your test is completed and it can give us some result we will see that in a moment okay mm, so here we are loading the website and we are doing the uh, sys out like printing the title that is fine let's go back and here first of all we have to do the interaction that means we have to inspect and find the element so here you can select it as an input uh, type called text and class called something and id equal to someone let's see if it's unique or not so i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to find it and here you can say like one of one that means of course it's a unique so we can use it so here i'm going to say like driver dot find element by dot id and we are going to pass the value now i can store that in the left hand side uh, that is going to return me the web element and we'll name it like uh what is this uh this is a right so i'll say like a input and then followed by i'm going to find one more that is this one so it has a id called sum2 but i will try to use some another locator just for the demo for example here you can see like uh, we have a input type text of course i cannot use that because here also i have type text so it is duplicate and then here we have like placeholder equal to uh please enter your message which is also same uh so probably i think not a good idea we have to go with the x path but we'll try to use it maybe some other time okay so i'll just go with the uh, id itself so here i'm going to say like driver dot find element by dot id and here i'm going to pass my value okay and of course you can pass directly like we can use the dots and keys and here you can pass your value that is also fine or else we can store that as a web element and we can use the web element like here i can say like a input dots and keys and then followed by the value now you might be wondering we are passing a integer as 10 but we are enclosing with double quotes because 
send case accept a character sequence that means we have to pass with the help of string if you directly pass like 10 it won't accept uh, because it needs a kind of character character sequence which is like your string okay so that's it we are pretty much done so we have given two inputs so 10 and 15 which is eventually 15 i mean 25 we'll try to verify that before that we have to click on this button right let's go and click action so here we can see that uh, we don't have any proper id we don't have proper class name we don't have proper uh, any other lo locators right so we are going to use the x path uh, so here i can see like text called get values so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to say like double slash button and then followed by uh, text node equals and then this one so here we are getting one of one which means our x path is 100 percent correct so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to say like driver dot find elements by dot x path and here i have to pass my x path value and then i'm going to do the click action so i will say uh, dot click i have to call the function called dot click that's it very simple right i think we are pretty much uh, done for this at least for the interaction with the input and clicking on the button uh, let's try to execute this okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this okay of course we can convert this into a xml file and we can execute the xml file um, but as a starting video i think we'll go with the uh, direct implementation direct execution so i'm going to do right click and run as test ng test let's see the beauty so if i go to my console uh, here you can see like it started execution nothing happening in my local machine but if i go to the lambda test platform let me go here to the automation section and here you can see we are getting this execution right so it, it's already completed actually okay so here you can select we have first run first run is if you remember i have given as my uh, build name i believe right so if you go to the desired capabilities you can say like build uh, which is first run and the test name is interact with input right so here if i click on that you can see like interact with input that is my test if i click on that then you can see like step by step what actually happened for example here you can see like the browser session started that means browser is launching and we have opened this particular url and then followed by we have given some command like uh, we have print the title and we have found the element that is someone if you remember here this is the someone we found with the help of id so here you can see that and then followed by uh, we are trying to print the value as 10 and then we are trying to find the second input element there we have typed the value as 15 and then with the help of x path we have found the element and we have done the click on and after the test we have closed the browser right so here we are getting all the step by step and if you want to see the video of course we can click on this guy and here you can see like what is exactly happened so i'm going to maximize this so here you can see like it basically tried to do all the fill uh, the values are entered and we also got the 25 as a value right so that's easy the lambda test platform is if you want to download the video you can go to the video section and here we have a download button just click on it you will get the entire result okay okay so pretty much we are good with the first launch in the lambda test now let's see few of the other functions as well okay so here we are getting the values right once we click on the button we are getting the actual result so we are going to print that one okay so if i go and inspect here you can see like we have a id called add message so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to write my x path uh, sorry the id again so once i click on this um, button then i'm going to say like driver dot find element and then followed by by dot id and i'm going to give the add message now from here we want to retrieve the text right so if you see here whenever we do the uh, like get values it will do the calculation and it will show the value so we have to take the text from this particular element so for that in selenium we have a function called get text let's see how to use that so here i'm going to say like dot get text and that's going to return me a string so i'm going to store it here and then i will say like uh, sys out and then followed by the text okay that's it uh yeah i think that's it okay now if you go here you can see like um before this right so before this like before entering the value here we can say like enter 
please enter your message right let's say that we have a test case to validate whether the text box has this placeholder or not so let's see how to test that as well i'm not going to write the asset now but i'll show you a function which can give you the data okay so let's go and inspect i think already we have inspected and we have stored that here right so if you go to the code you can see like we have a, a input right so i'm going to print that one right so here i'm going to say like a input dot get attribute is the function name if you want to retrieve some value from a input box then we have to use the function called get attribute and here i'm going to say like uh, if you go to the dom you can see like this is the placeholder please enter your message right whatever is there that is what we are seeing here as well right so i have to get the attribute of this particular attribute name called placeholder so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to paste it and that's it that's also going to return a string so i'm going to copy i mean i'm going to sys out that so sys out and then followed by attribute okay we'll do some string concatenation just to uh identify it okay so this is i'll say like place holder value and this is my result right result of the addition of two numbers so i'll say like result i hope you are able to understand in this particular lesson we have learned a lot of things like how to print the title how to find an element with the different locator strategy like id uh, you can change it to name link text like the like those and then followed by how to use the send keys how to use the get attribute how to use the get text i think we are pretty much good for today right now let's execute this finally and we can wind up okay so let's go to our uh, lambda test platform and here i'm going to do a few changes okay so first of all uh if you go to the advanced configuration you can see like uh, if you want to get the network clocks probably you can enable it and if you want to take the screenshot you can do that and video recording is by default it's all and if you want to get the console log for example here we are doing all the sysout statement right i want to see that as well so here i'll go and uh, i'll just make it like true and that should be fine i believe okay so yeah we are pretty much good and we got some new capabilities uh, this time around instead of running in the same windows machine i'm going to select like mac os and maybe we'll execute in the safari browser with the version 15.2 okay uh, yeah that's it let's copy this guy from here to here this is the the changes yeah also let's copy and we are going to replace here okay i'll just make it like uh let it be first run uh that's not a problem i think let's go and run this one more time see i'm writing my code in windows machine and i'm going to execute in the mac machine that is the beauty of lambda test we can write in it in anywhere and we can execute in anywhere and here you can see like we are already getting some uh, result that is 25 which is perfect and uh, we got the placeholder like please enter your message and we got the title of the page right let's see the execution whether it executed really in the mac os or not so i'm going to go to the test again uh, lambda test platform i'm going to refresh the page and if you see here i actually don't have to refresh it's showing me so within the first run here we have like interact with input which executed in the safari browser 15.0 and it's the mac 12.0 version so if i click on that you can see the video here right so if i click on that let's see so it was pretty quick i think so here you can see like it just typed and we got the result and that's it really soon. and if you want to see the screenshot you can see like view on i mean click on view screenshot that should show you like what is exactly happening let's go and check few other things if i scroll down here we are getting 25 right let's see that okay so here uh, if i click on this view screenshot like yeah we got this 25 right that's it pretty pretty cool and i think lambda test is making our life really easy um because you know we have written our code in the windows machine and we are able to execute in the cloud machine uh, of course thanks to selenium grid concept but the platform is really cool okay so with that said i hope you really enjoyed this video and we have learned a, quite a few good uh, functions today uh, that is pretty much fine for these 
video we will see in the next one very soon if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments tata bye bye take care